Wastewater discharged into Tokyo Bay from a cement factory has been found to contain radioactive season at much higher levels than the government set limit allows. The plant in Chiba Prefecture east of Tokyo uses ash from incinerators in the prefecture to produce cement. The prefectural government says the plant operator checked wastewater discharged from the plant into Tokyo Bay once in September and once in October. It found radioactive cesium at levels of 1,103 becquerels and 1,054 becquerels per kilogram, respectively. The levels are 14 to 15 times higher than the limit set by the country's Nuclear Safety Commission. The water had been used to clean filters, which remove toxic materials from ashes. The operators stopped discharging the wastewater on Wednesday. The Chiba prefectural government has launched a survey of the seawater near the plant. Piles of rubble from the quake and tsunami heap Iwate Prefecture were being transported to Tokyo for disposal on Wednesday. The March 11th disaster has created millions of tons of waste. The central government has been asking prefectures outside the affected areas to help with disposal. But many are reluctant, fearing the rubble is contaminated with radiation. Wednesday's cargo was tested and found to be within an agreed safety limit. The Japanese government will open the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant to media for the first time since the March 11th disaster. Nuclear crisis minister Goshi Hosono says journalists will be allowed into the facility on Saturday next week. We're now moving forward to achieve a cold shutdown at the plant by the end of the year. We're also checking on the safety. The government wants to do a cold shutdown by year's end. Cold shutdown means the temperatures of reactors are kept at less than 100 degrees Celsius. Hosono says he'll visit the plant to check on the process and speak with workers. And he says he'll let a fixed number of journalists come with him because the situation at the plant is gradually settling down. Japan. Well, the country is preparing to resume talks on nuclear energy development with several Asian countries. The negotiations were suspended after the accident at the Fukushima nuclear power plant in March. An Indian foreign ministry official will visit Japan, will visit Tokyo later this month to restart negotiations on an atomic energy agreement. Gotam Bambawale is in charge of East Asian affairs. Japan and India plan to sign a civilian nuclear power agreement that would allow Japan to provide nuclear technology to India. However, negotiations were suspended after the accident in Fukushima in March. India wants to build more nuclear power plants to support its economic growth. The country could become a lucrative market for Japan's nuclear industry. However, some in Japan are opposed to any nuclear deals with India because the country is not a signatory to the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty. On Monday, Prime Minister Yoshihiko Noda met Vietnamese Prime Minister Nguyen Tan Zun in Tokyo. He confirmed that Japanese companies will help build two nuclear reactors in Vietnam. They're scheduled to start operating in 2021. Act has surfaced concerning North Korea's nuclear ambitions. The country demanded light water reactors in exchange for halting uranium enrichment in its recent talks with the United States. During the two-day meeting in Geneva last week, North Korea's negotiator, First Vice Foreign Minister Kim Kei-gwan, repeated his country's stance that its uranium enrichment is for peaceful power generation. Speaking to reporters after the talks, Kim implied that he made a demand that could lead to a halt of uranium enrichment. U.S. negotiator Stephen Bosworth is said to have rejected the North Korean request. 
The joint statement was adopted at the six-party talks in 2005. It stipulates that the relevant countries will discuss providing a power station with light water reactors at an appropriate time if North Korea dismantles all its nuclear facilities and renounces nuclear weapons. The six-party talks were later suspended and North Korea began to construct a nuclear power plant by itself.